we have this system of equations a square minus b square equals 16 and ab equals 4. Our job is to find the value of a plus b. Okay, before we solve this question, let me show you how conditioned we all are. The moment we see equations like these, we don't even try to understand the purpose of asking the question. We directly jump into solving for individual values of a and b, as if that's the only way forward. So you might think that maybe from here I will take a square as 16 plus b square. Then I will square it to get ab whole square equals 4 square or 16. ab whole square will be e square times b square. Then we might substitute a square as 16 plus b square here to get this. On expanding, we get 16b square plus b raised to 4 equals 16. Now it's easy to solve for b because this is a quadratic equation in terms of b square. After solving this, we will get this ugly looking values of b. But that's not the end of story because now we have to find the values of a using this equation. And then we also have to add these nasty values in order to find the value of a plus b. I am already feeling dizzy just by looking at this procedure. But stop for a second and think. The question isn't asking for a or b. It's asking for a plus b. Sometimes in math, the real magic comes when we shift our focus from solving everything to solving just what's needed. And here, instead of isolating a and b, we'll play smart and use standard identities to directly find the value of a plus b. Let's go. We will start with the first equation, a square minus b square equals 16. We all might have heard about this well-known standard identity where a square minus b square is the same as a plus b times a minus b, right? So substitute it here. So a minus b can be written as 16 over a plus b. Next, we will use another identity, which is a minus b whole square is the same as a plus b whole square minus 4 times a b. Substitute a minus b as 16 over a plus b. Here to get this as 16 over a plus b whole square. Also substitute a b as 4, here to get this as 4 times 4 or 16. This will become 16 square over a plus b whole square or 2 5 6 over this. Okay, let a plus b whole square equals some variable x. So we have 256 over x equals x minus 16. Multiply both sides by x to get 256 equals x squared minus 16x. Take this 256 here to get x squared minus 16x minus 256 equals 0. I will not bore you by solving this simple quadratic equation. Use the quadratic formula to get the values of x as 8 times 1 plus the square root of 5 and 8 times 1 minus the square root of 5. So we have a plus b whole square equals these two values. Now simply take the square root of both these values and we get a plus b as plus minus square root of 8 times 1 plus root 5 or plus minus square root of 8 times 1 minus root 5. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good.